Mm. I reckon we should get Chef Mark a catwalk up to the kitchen and make him dance like that. Would make a fantastic <laughs> entrance, wouldn't it, Mark? Yeah, I think we'd lose all our viewers. Oh. <laughs> anyway, clams. Well, I've got a great recipe for you guys. We're doing a classic clam dish. We're doing Cloudy Bay clam chowder. So it's a seafood uh, soup. So it's with these beautiful clams. We've got white wine in there. We've got this beautiful perno, sort of really aniseedy um, liqueur in there. And then we've got dill as well. And a bit of corn, like the Americans love to put the corn in. So that's what we're going to put in. It's going to be absolutely fantastic. And I'm going to show you all about this recipe a little bit later on in the show. Now it's over to Mel. We are back in the kitchen with the first recipe of the week. And Mark, you've chosen a clam chowder and you're using Cloudy Bay clams. Yeah, I love these clams. So these mm. are diamond clams. Nice. And perfect for this recipe. Really fast to cook. I'm pleased you found them through all the cloud. <laughs> anyway. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I know. It's Monday. <laughs> all right. And it's not going to get about any better all week. <laughs> oh, thanks. That's rich. <laughs> OK. <laughs> what are we doing first? Right, so I've got a pan on. So saucepan, got it on the heat, so it's really, really hot. So yes. we're going to cook these really fast. I've got some white wine as well. Yeah. And we're going to cook them in there. So so, see, these are live. Yes. Um, so they're nice and um, shut. Any yep. ones which are open, discard now. Don't use those. So you want them all nice and tight and closed. Okay. Um, so these go in. Yep. I'll pop them in there so it's really hot. So oh, white wine and then a lid on. We use the bowl. Now, okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so nice. they, they let take like a couple of minutes to uh, cook. And we're going to keep all these juices because we've got the white wine in there. It's going to burn the alcohol off. Uh, and then all the clams are going to just release and uh, all the juices from the clams are going to go into it and it's, that's going to be part of our stock for Brilliant. the um, chowder. So we're going to use every pot. Okay. And then in this pot we're going to start the chowder. Yes. So, so do your clams first in the chowder? Yep, yep. Yep. All right, Chop get up some onions. Up. Yep. We're just going to slice them up so nice and fine. A little bit of olive oil in there and then we're going to start sweating them off. Okay. Then we'll add a bit of garlic and then some more wine. Nice. And oh yeah. What's perno? Perno, so it's like a French, um, a French spirit, really. It's like so it's aniseedy. Um, yeah, very aniseedy. Yeah. Mm. I know the smell. Uh, easy to find, is it? Uh, yeah. Okay. Hopefully. So if your supermarket <laughs> doesn't stock it, just look it up online. There'll be a specialty oh, yeah, store yeah, somewhere. Yeah, you'd, you'd be able to get it in sort of like uh, right. Ben Gary's or something. Probably. Oh, yeah, sweet. Just like a bowl yeah. store. Oh, yeah, cool. yeah, yeah, yeah. Sweet. Nice. Right, so onions go in there, so we're going to sweat that down. So it's a, it's a white, creamy, uh, clammy soup. Mm. So we don't want to get any sort of colour on the onions. We want that sweetness from the onions. Get them nice and soft uh, and start getting the flavours out. You don't want any fried onion sort of flavours because it's nice and delicate. OK. And then we've got some garlic going in there now. Nice. So sweat that down. Yep. All right, we'll check our clams. So How do you know when they're ready? Well, it's lucky you asked. So you'll know when they're ready because they'll open up. Right. So you can okay, see cool. there's a few just starting to open, but a lot of them are still closed. So just give it a little bit more cooking time. Once they've all opened, if there are any that not opened, get rid of them. OK, cool. You don't want the ones that don't yeah. open. Perfect. Nice. Right, Good so tips. That's, that is just sweating down there. And remember, you don't want to put colour on your onions. You just want to soften them down. Sweat them out. Sweat them. Sweat them. OK. All right, so just keeping an eye on there. So oh, yeah, a few, a few more opening. A few more yep. open, so just a little bit longer. Keep checking it, because you don't want to cook them for, like, sort of, you know, about ten minutes, and then they'll go rubbery and hard. Right. Right. So What's now, that? so a little bit more white wine. Yes. And a little bit of perno in with the onions. Oh, can I have a smell of that? Oh, yeah, that's good. Mm. Yeah, so it's really, um... <laughs> don't drink it. Woo! Yeah, that's really good. <laughs> So, um, don't be throwing any more of that in there, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Keep it for later. Yeah, so there's sort of, you know, there's, it looks like there's quite a lot of alcohol in there, but we're going to bring up to the boil, alcohol's going to go off, and we're going to reduce that down, and we're going to get some great flavours in there. They're smelling really good, too. OK, so you've got some potatoes. Right, some potatoes, so I'm just going to dice them quite small. Have you pre-cooked them? No, 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 they were raw. Okay. They were just raw. So, really small, so it won't take long to cook in the um, chowder. Nice work. So we'll but they'll go in a little clams. bit later. So check the clams, yep. how are they? Well, they're looking really good, actually. Just about all of them are open, the ones that I can see, anyway. Yep, there you go, so that's cool. So take it off the heat and then strain it out, keep the juices, though, that's what we need to do. And then um, let them cool down a little bit, because they're really, really hot. Yeah. But then all you need to do is just, um, you can get a little teaspoon, and then you can just pop them out. Okay, and then cool. you've got this beautiful clam meat there. Look and then we're that. just going to finish them off in the chowder, like, okay. last minute. You can leave them whole, we can chop them up, yep. you know, but they're not, they don't require sort of any more cooking than this. Brilliant. They're beautiful. You nice work. Yeah, I'll have one. Oh, they're work. beautiful. Love them. Mmm. Mmm. Yum. Oh, oh, that is so good. 
<laughs> okay, I won't need any more. I'll save it for the finished product. <laughs> right now, though, we need to get this chowder finished. Now, I've opened up all the clams. We'll put them here. Um, fantastic. It smells incredible. What are you yep. up to? Right, so we've reserved the juice as yep. well, so that's going to go in in a minute. So the uh, wine and the perno sort of reduced off now. Just going to add a little knob of butter, melt that in, and then we're going to pop some flour in it. Okay, why are we putting the flour in it? Help. So the, the flour is going to help thicken, thicken it. it. The okay, potatoes great. are also going to help thicken it slightly, mm -hmm. and that will give us a nice little uh, vegetable component and a little bit of texture in there. But the flour, just so you get it nice and sort of thick. Nice. So just sprinkle it in now. Yep. Stir it through. Okay. Make sure it's all mixed through. Yep. Now, it's just while you're mixing that, quick question. If you didn't have access to clams, could you use this recipe and perhaps use mussels or some other Yeah, yeah, no, that's fine. Yep. You, you know, yeah, if you've got mussels, like, you know, pretty easy to get, get a hold of. Okay. Um, yeah, you could do it with mussels if you want, or even smoked salmon would be quite nice. Yeah. You know? You'd have to do it a little bit different. Okay. But uh, you could do it in that, with that. Right, so the uh, flour's in, so it's all in there. I see and why you And then now the juice. we yep. are going to put the juice in. All right, so get all that in, give it a good mix up. Okay. And then get that flour in there. And obviously we have to, uh, if we're cooking with flour, we need to cook it out. So bring that back up to the boil. What do you mean cook it out? Well, if you just, you know, if you just brought it up to the boil and just ate it like now, you'd get really sort of powdery, okay. um, you know, floury taste. Yes. So you want to bring it up to the boil and turn it down and then cook it out. So okay. you want to keep tasting it and make sure you don't get that floury aftertaste. And then I've got some milk, which I'm going to pop in. Yeah. And then bring that up to the uh, boil, and then that's going to be the base of our soup. Okay, okay we'll give it a little season, and then we're going to put our potatoes in, mm -hmm. get those cooked. A little season. Yeah, and then very last minute, we're going to pop the ch uh, clams through, and then we've got some corn as well. So you get corn on the cob, just give it a peel like that, so you've got fresh corn. What? <laughs> what? I know, what people doing? throw it over their shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> to get a good even and, spread. <laughs> and then all you do is just go down the side yep. and you just get all these little corn kernels. Nice. And fresh corn is just so nice, so sweet, mm. it's crunchy. You know, so just very last minute with the corn, just to warm up, you know, you don't want to don't want to overcook it. You okay. want that nice fresh crunch. Nice bit of texture. There you in go, the yeah. Beautiful. Nice work. That's how I do my corn when I've cooked it. Just slice it off like that. Beautiful. But it's so nice. Try that. Okay, it's like raw good. corn. It's mm. so sweet. Mm. Mm, yeah, that's good, isn't it? Okay, so we need to boil this up. Yeah, boil it up, simmer yep. it. So always check the consistency. You know, if it's too thick, just add a bit more uh, milk and cream. I've got a little bit of cream to finish it off, so we're going to pop that in just Later. before we serve it as well. Yeah, we don't want to put it in now and reduce it down so it's too heavy. Okay, when are we going to put the potatoes and the clams in? So I'm going to put the potatoes in now. Yep. And then pretty much, I mean, once you've got all the flavours in there, you get your thickness and the flour's cooked out, all you need to wait for is the potatoes to cook. And because we've cooked them so small, you know... Won't take long. No, nah, maybe five, five, six minutes, if that. Okay. And then we'll finish it with the cream, the corn, and the clams. Beautiful! Okay, well, that was quite an experience, um, especially with that perno. And um, herbs as well. And we're going to put some herbs in a little later on. We'll come yep. back, we'll see the finished product towards the end of the show. Uh, how is the chowder coming along? It's good, we're just finishing off, got beautiful consistency, nice rich and uh, shiny, great flavour from those clams, all the meat's in there, the corn's in there, and then just finish it with some herbs. So there's fennel tops in there, there's dill, and there's a little bit of parsley. Give that a stir through and serve mm. it all. Yeah, that looks like some fancy chowder. <laughs> good work. Look at that. Another spoonful, good man. <laughs> <laughs> Cool, that little bowl's for you, Mel, and the pot little is bit of olive oil over the top, and there you go. Oh, look at that. Oh, yum. Ooh. Oh, right there. nice work. Very okay, pretty. what have you got tomorrow? Well, tomorrow we're doing sweet treats. We've got fig, honey, and ricotta muffin. Yum!